Okay, next problem. Um, the weight of the cylindrical tank is negligible in comparison to the weight of water it contains. And uh, note that the water weighs 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. The coefficient of friction between the tank and the horizontal surface is mu. Um, for the first question, assuming a full tank, find the smallest force P required to tip the tank. And then number two, assuming a full tank, find the smallest mu that would allow tipping to take place. Uh, and number three, if the force is 200 pounds, in, uh, if the force P equals 200 pounds initiates tipping, determine the depth of water in the tank. Okay, so actually sa problem na to, lahat tipping no, yung, uh, yung requirement. Okay, so actually itong dalawang to would be parang uh, related. Okay. So let's draw the free body diagram. So in the drawing, this is three-dimensional drawing, pero we can simplify this into two dimension. No? Uh, if I would let this to be point A, ito nasa kaliwa, and then ito nasa likod, ay na, patawagin natin point B. So pag tumingin tayo sa direction na to, so may kita natin is ganito lang siya. Ayan. Okay? And then meron ditong force P. Nang angle ay 30 degrees. Tapos, this is point A, this is point B. Okay? And then, full tank daw sa number 1 and number so, sa number 1, full tank. So, ibig, ibig sabihin, this is full of water. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, uh, we will have here the weight of water. So, tawagin natin W. Okay? Okay? Where the weight of water may be calculated as uh, yung gamma ng water multiplied by the volume of water. Okay, so that's 62.4. And then the volume, so as you can see, cylinder naman yan. <clears throat> Given naman yung radius, so drawing ko lang. So ito yung ano, diameter bali. So the diameter is... Um, ang radius kasi 1.4, so times 2, 2.8. Okay, and then we are also given the height. Okay, so both in feet, so this is 4 feet. Ayan, so lumalabas, uh, the volume of a cylinder is pi times radius squared times the height. So that would be pi times 1.4 squared times 4. Okay, so the weight of the water can be calculated directly. So that is 62.4 times pi times 1.4 squared times 4. So that gives us 1536.917. So this is in pounds. Okay, uh, may typo error lang dito. Yung hinahanap dito is pounds na na. Dapat ito ay pounds, hindi newton. Okay, so yung hinahanap natin na force P is pounds. Okay, um, ayun. Now, and then uh, our reactions, uh, which is alam natin na meron dapat normal reaction at saka friction. So by the way, ang impending motion natin dito is obvious naman na to the right. So pag ganito yung impending motion. So that's why I identified that the friction will be pointing to the left. And then this is our normal reaction. So, And then, uh, alam natin that this could move somewhere, no? depende. But because we are at the verge of tipping, edi ito ilalagay natin dito sa point B. Okay, yung normal force will be acting directly at point B. Okay, at the verge of tipping. Okay, so anyway, um, what I would do, so we can take summation of forces. X is equal to zero. Uh, we will have P cosine thirty uh, minus F. Okay, which is equal to zero, and then summation of forces Y is equal to zero. We will have uh, P sine thirty uh, minus W. And then plus N. Okay. 
<clears throat> and then if you would uh take summation of moment um at point P because dun yung ano uh pivot kapag uh, tubumba na yan <clears throat> we will have um P cosine 30 yung x component niya ang moment arm ay 4 ang rotation ay clockwise so i'm assuming counterclockwise passing so yung horizontal component ito yung rotation yung vertical component naman p sine 30 ang moment arm ay 2.8 okay um ang rotation ay also clockwise and then we have w 1536.917 um ang moment arm is obviously mag-aak ito sa centroid so half or radius lang ng um uh, base you know? so 1.4 and then the rotation this will produce will be counterclockwise so plus and then again yung normal force siya kayong friction wala naman silang rotation dun sa specific point na yun. so therefore this would be equal to 0 and actually, sa moment equation, masasolve na natin yung required T for tipping to take place. So we will have, um, store na rin to para exact. So we will have negative uh, P cosine 30 times 4 minus P sine 30 times 2.8 plus yung weight times 1.4 equals 0. And solving for x, we will have 442.36 and pounds. No, dapat pounds ito. So this is the force P that will initiate TP. Next, assuming full tank find the smallest mu. So hinahanap naman yung uh, mu natin. So actually, dun sa summation of uh, dito na. So, dito sa summation of forces y, we can solve for n. ba? So, we have dito na lang, na? Lagay ko na lang dito, na. Okay, we can solve for n. Kasi na-compute na natin yung p. So, we will have minus yung w. So, negative to. So, pag tinas po sa kabila, pagpapas din. So, 1315.737. Okay, pounds. Okay? And then, kapag meron ka ng N, so galing sa summation ng forces X, um, para makompute natin yung required mu, so we will set F, yung friction, to be yung maximum niya, which is mu times N. No? So, kasi para ano to, para matumba to, para tumumba yan ng ganyan, kailangan din masagad natin itong frictional resistance. Okay? So, lumalabas, um, P cosine 30, Uh, minus mu times n is equal to zero. And from here, we should be able to calculate for the required uh, coefficient of friction. So we have um, P cosine 30. So again, positive na yun, ha? Yung uh, n natin. So we have P cosine 30 divided by n. So that gives us 0 0.291. And that is the required coefficient of friction. So that is letter D. Okay. And lastly, if the force P 200 pounds initiate tipping, determine the depth uh, of water in the tank. So pinapahanap naman yung depth ng water. Okay. Okay, so let me just redraw again a free body diagram. Parang ganito yung mangyayari sa number 3. Ito yung cylindrical tank. Okay, tapos ito yung P. And then this time, given yung exact value ng P. Okay, um, pero sabi, hindi puno yung tubig. I mean, hindi puno yung tank. So pinapahanap actually ano yung depth nito. Tawagin natin na depth D. Okay? Tapos ito yung may water. So, ito yung weight ng water. Okay? 
and then what else? So yung normal force tsaka friction will be again at the point B because it is at the verge of TP. Okay. So pinapahanap lang bali ano yung depth ng water. Okay. So again, uh, dito we will just take summation of moment at B is equal to zero assuming counterclockwise pass. Kasi yun yung criteria for tipping. Eh, no? Yung moment dun sa... Actually, tawag nga natin dito kapag dams ay ito. Now, kumbaga, yan, kaya tinawag yun na ito, di ba yung paan natin, yung dulo ng paan natin, yung toe natin, to be specific, pag naglalakad tayo, yun yung huling magka-touch sa lupa pagka maglalakad tayo, na kapag mag step na tayo. So, kaya tinatawag na ito, ito. Kasi pag tumumba yan, yan yung huling, uh, uh, huling in contact dun sa ground kapag uh, natumba siya. No? So ayun no? so, and then, and that's why also dun, that's why also kung bakit doon tayo nagmo-moment kasi doon nga yung uh, tipping na nagaganap no and also another reason is so that we can eliminate this two no from our equation from our moment equation okay so solve natin so p which is 200 ang x component niya is cosine 30 tapos kanina this was 4 feet and then this is 2.8 or dalawang 1.4. Okay? <clears throat> so yung X component niya, moment arm I4, ang, ro uh, ang rotation nun I clockwise, and then we have the Y component, ang moment arm I2.8, ang rotation I clockwise. So ito yun, horizontal component, ang moment arm I ito, vertical component, ang moment arm I ito. Si horizontal component, ang, clockwise, ang ang ikot niya ay clockwise. Yung vertical component, ang ikot niya rin is also clockwise. And then our W. So yung W dito, hindi na ano ha? Hindi na 1536. Kasi ito yung W kapag puno. Ngayon, hindi nga puno eh. Kumbaga parang tinatanong sa atin, ano, ano yung kumbaga, ano yung depth? Kung, kung halimbawang ito yung magpapatip over sa P. Kasi kanina, nung puno, ang P na kailangan, 442. So ngayon, niliitan yung P. So ito kasi una natin na compute, ito yung P na magpapatumba kapag puno yung tank sa so mas malaking P. Pero ngayon, sabi niya, ito daw yung P na magpapatumba sa tank. So gano'n na ngayon karaming kubi ang laman ng tank. Kumbaga, sigurado tayo ngayon na hindi yan puno kasi kapag puno, mas malaking P yung kailangan. So ibig sabihin, dahil lumiit na yung P na magpapatumba sa kanya, malamang yung tubig dito ay mas kakaunti na rin. Okay, kaya ganun. No? And of course, itong W na to is iba. And actually, we will solve for that W and yun yung makapag-solve sa atin ng depth ng water. Alright, so W. Ang moment arm ay 1.4. Tapos ang rotation ay counterclockwise. So this is all equal to zero. And let's solve for W. <clears throat> So that gives us 694.87 pounds. So ganyan na lang kabigat yung tubig kasi tumumba na siya. So how do we solve for the depth? No? So again, ano, volume na ulit nito. No, no, uh, cylinder. So volume ng cylinder is again, uh, pi times radius squared. So bali, di ba ang W ay equal lang sa Gamma ng water times the volume of the water. So this is 694.87 equals 62.4 times pi times 1.4 squared times yung depth. And from here, we should be able to calculate for the depth. And the depth is 1.81. Okay, and our answer here would be letter C. Okay, so that's how we solve this particular problem.